Welcome back. On Thursday, Duncan Park is going to be hosting Women in the Moment of Community and Culture and Cuisine. Jendaya Scott Miller, the Executive Director of Angel of Edgewood, and Sabria Hardy, the Director of the Program in Partnership, also with Angel of Edgewood, with us this morning. Thanks so much for being with us. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Jen, first for folks at home who are mm -hmm. watching, let people know what Angel of Edgewood does. So Angel of Edgewood, we are a nonprofit organization who meet the needs um, of the community. Everything from food to um, rental assistance, mm -hmm. financial assistance, um, clothing. clothing and homelessness. Um, we are, are an organization that provides wraparound services. Mm -hmm. So you provide them with those services, but you also empower them as they move forward. We do. We do. It's, it's very important to um, be respectful to those who are going through difficult times and it's very important to empower and encourage them um, because that's half the battle and so you know teaching people that this situation that you're in is only temporary um, and, and you have so much more to live for and so after we give them you know we pour this love into them because that is what Angel of Edge what provides love in the community um, it, it, changed, it changes lives. Mm -hmm. so talk a little bit more about this celebration <laughs> of women that's happening on Thursday. So speaking of encouragement, mm -hmm. um, as most people know, our organization started small in a house, my house, and over four years we have grown from my home to a 17,000 square foot facility. And as a minority woman, um, it's, it's not easy. And so I was this unsung hero um, in the community doing all of these acts and deeds along with many many other women and I wanted to put something together to pay homage to them and honor them and let them know that it didn't matter how small the deed was it was the impact that it made and so they they it's important that they're celebrated mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that's how Sabria comes in <laughs> talk about how you got involved well um, I used to um, organize programs for youth in the community and I was organizing a wraparound youth service program for homeless youth and um, all I kept hearing was you know we went to Angela Edgewood and we got food for our clients and we went to Angela Edgewood and we were able to get some uh, toiletries and uh, goods for our clients and so I was like you know what Angela Edgewood would be a good partner to to collaborate with for our youth in the city and um, I, I sent her an email, invited her to be a part of our launch, and she accepted, and she showed up, and she just gave me the biggest hug when <laughs> she got there, and it was like we had been friends, you know, forever. Right. Um, you know, we have similar missions and uh, similar stories, so mm -hmm. I think we, we meshed well together. And that's all about what these partnerships do as far as empowering people, empowering women. It is, it is, and it's not just... Um, um, you know, monetary uh, things. Right. You know, we have um, so many stories. Skills. It's counseling. Well, mm -hmm. we heard a story mm -hmm. um, where there's a nurse that's being honored who um, went through some medical issues. She went. She had to lose weight, change her eating habits, medications, all of these things she went through to uh, donate a, her kidney to her coworker. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, when you talk about impact and women encouraging life each other, mm -hmm. life changing, yeah. this is somebody who was getting ready to lose their life and then this person lost over 150 pounds. And gave life to somebody else. And gave life to someone else. Right. You know, I mean, you, how much more impactful, you know, can, can you be? And right. that's, that's what it's about. We have some amazing women and amazing stories that yeah. you'll hear on Thursday. Right. So that's going to be on Thursday starting at 11 o'clock. Is that right? 11 yes. o'clock. At Duncan Park. Yes, at Duncan Park. And tickets are available. A lot of great speakers and oh, incredible yeah. Yes, women. speakers, yes. panel. We have um, Alexa Adgers, who is um, the runner-up for Kid Governor, so she's part of the Kid Governor cabinet. Mm -hmm. um, we have Fox 61's Lucia, um, and you know, so many other amazing women doing amazing work, not around 
the state around the world. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. And what yes. a great venue to celebrate that as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So again, yes. it's Thursday at Duncan Park at 11 a.m. and tickets yes. are still available. <laughs> yes. Ladies, thank you so much for being thank with you. us. Thank, thank you. Thank you for all the incredible work that you are thank doing. Thank you so much. We thank you for having for us. So many people are. And, and we're celebrating you as well. Oh. You do amazing work and you're such an inspiration when I watch you on TV. Oh, well, you ladies are. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for thank being you. with us. Thank you. All right.